Green mentioned is all about adapting to change and moving towards where our heart desires. And there are many areas to do this. I've already spoken about other areas like how you can reinvent yourself, how you can reinvent your look. But today I want to talk to you about how you can reinvent your soul. When it comes to soul, we typically connect it to spirituality and that's absolutely fine. I've been talking about practicing mindfulness and meditation in many of my videos now. Today I want to talk a little different. I want to talk to you about other ways of connecting to your soul, which means bringing out the passions that you have hidden and commit, uh, commit yourself to pursue them. this I have a friend with me or I am with a friend who has come out of a comfort zone to pursue her passion you met her before and she is the founder of stock market Shilpa Sudame so uh, Shilpa is uh, as I said a founder of stock market she's into landscaping actually why don't you introduce yourself sure thanks for having me again so I'm the founder director of the stock market we are into green gifting and greenscaping we help uh, people have uh, green backgrounds, uh, have a greener place, and we also advocate the use of uh, plants uh, and terrariums as gifts instead of your traditional uh, plastic gifts. So we're wanting to promote more and more nature around us, and of course, uh, that is made of the art also. And uh, yeah, this is my garden. It's, small this is garden. A it's a small balcony and <laughs> artfully done, and so. How does it feel to be working in the area that is your passion, which okay. is greenscaping? And how do you feel that is helping you connect more with yourself? Very few people get to do what they really want to do. Absolutely. And, then, and yeah. work and have their passion. We are lucky, that way. Yeah, we are yeah. lucky that way. And it takes time to find your passion as well. So I wouldn't say that I had naturally drifted towards it. This was right. definitely not my first uh, attempt so it is like doing something that you enjoy doing and then you you finally excel at it so there is a uh, there's a lot of calm yes. and i think yeah. uh, that's the innate nature of uh, you know it's, it's something which is called biophilia that means that you know there's an innate Absolutely. tendency of humans to connect with nature and fortunately my work is such that i am in continuous connection with nature uh, it doesn't give you those jittery nerves, you don't right. feel like, oh, I need to rush through my day. It right. just feels very calm. Time's passing quickly. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, one of the ways I know a lot of you will relate to it is having a pet. Mm -hmm. Very strange, watching the cat sleep. I have a pet cat, if you didn't know that already. Watching the cat sleep is amazingly therapeutic. I don't know how. Mm. It's like she's in her own world and that lazy bum sleeps like 18 hours in a day. She's actually, throughout the day, she's asleep. Lucky girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we can't sleep anyways. It's just fancy, but yes. we will not sleep that long. But the way she sleeps and she stretches and uh, to stroke her belly when she's sleeping and she loves it obviously uh, but when you stroke it's such a beautiful feeling and yeah. it's I think what I have learned most from my cat is self-love yeah. she does not negotiate with the food she does not negotiate with enjoying the sunlight she wants the sunlight somehow very strange but just being with her watching her do about her work sort of feels connected to something it's it's like unbelievable sense of love you get when you just watch it's 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 amazing it's i don't know i don't know the science behind it but it's amazing i, I guess that's also how also i think animals are very in the moment yeah they're not like actually planning and you know thinking about absolutely. the past they're just they're just in the moment and living it hmm. and uh, i can talk about myself i just i just live into i live in the past and i live in the future absolutely. but <laughs> I need to do my mindfulness class. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I should. So, yeah. yeah, if it is, there are very few moments in a day or probably in a week, let me not lie, that you're truly mindful of what you're doing. Yeah. So, that is where the stress comes in. Yeah. So, I, uh, so, another way. Uh, to connect back to our soul 
which also helps you maintain mindfulness mm -hmm. is reading. Yes. Oh, and yes. you share that. Uh, I'm Although I think I can say I used to be a bookworm, I'm not anymore. But she still is. And uh, she has, how many books do you read in a day? Um, in a I, month, actually. Um, I try to finish at least two to three in a month, which is That's like good. really That's low good. as per what I used to do. But then I have a lot of things on my plate. Yeah. So I don't, uh, I'm not very harsh on myself. I think two to three is nice. But uh, I'm always reading more than one book. Uh, at a time so wow that's, yeah i i know that some so, people find it odd but uh, the time of the day funny it is very funny because uh, mornings i like i like to read something uh, which is which i really want to absorb so management books uh, self help books uh, mm. you know those kind of books which which i really which are like serious reads night time before going to bed is when i read fiction right and it just helps me disconnect Okay. Both times healthy this correct, but yeah. Correct. And you are mindful mm -hmm. in the moment, yeah. not the past or the present. Yeah. When you are reading a book. Yeah. Uh, if you're struggling to stay in this moment, then you need to read the book. Yeah. Absolutely. You need to read the book. Reinventing your soul. So reinvention is basically adapting to change and I've said that before um, taking whatever that you have in your life not really uh, if you're able to step out of the comfort zone and we've covered uh, covered that topic already but if you are willing to do that by all means do that because that would mean just embracing the life that you would love to lead but if you're not in a position to do that because of various reasons then um, reinvention could be as subtle as you want it to be so it could mean like just devoting some time from your uh, week at least if not every day yeah. and uh, doing some things that you love yeah. so like gardening if you want to if you like gardening garden if you like painting Absolutely. paint if you like cooking cook because to each his own yeah. so whatever you find is therapeutic whichever whatever can disconnects you from absolutely your so mundane yeah. and routine absolutely there are many ways to connect to yourself there are many ways to reinvent your soul. The most important part is that the moment you are able to connect yourself, then you really will discover what you love. You know, because if, if in our lives, with so many roles that we play, we tend to get lost. You know, uh, you have always people waiting for you to do stuff for them. Uh, you always will have people or tasks waiting for you, for your attention. Unless and until you actually devote time uh, and effort in connecting to yourself, you will not be able to really enjoy what you do or live life the way you want to live. So I hope the, our chat was able to help you. I hope you are able to pick up some stuff that you can implement in your life. And um, that's it. If you have any questions or feedback for either of us, with, uh, Shilpa's details are there in the description. So are mine. So if you have any questions, feedback, do leave it in the comment section below or uh, you can reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in or she's in. If you like this video or you find this video resourceful, do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye. I have to say bye. Say bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.